Hello Vincent's Collection Studio viewers. This week we designed a dining table using olive wood and black epoxy. Let's watch together. First of all, we are looking for trees with characteristic features requested by our customers from our tree warehouse. Then we will move on to the cleaning phase. Cleaning tree stumps is one of the most important steps in making an epoxy table. The reason why tree cleaning is very important is that the trees we use have completed their life in nature. To complete its life in nature means that these trees are very worn and contain a lot of rotten tissues. This is one of the best parts of our job. It's truly amazing that trees like this can be recycled and produced with marvelous results. If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. We make one surface of the tree flat with the help of CNC machine before pouring epoxy. This surface will stay on the bottom surface when we frame the tree stumps. The reason we flatten it is to ensure that the epoxy doesn't seep under the tree. No matter how many years I've been doing this job, I can't help watching this machine scrape the surface. After this stage is over, we will frame the tree stumps and pour the epoxy. The tree stumps need to be well framed in order to have a table of the desired size. We create the frame with the help of hot glue and wood. Silicone must be applied well so that the resin does not leak.
The most enjoyable stage to watch is the epoxy casting stage. Epoxy takes about 8 hours to dry. It is ideal if the table is 2 inches thick for longevity. We do not pour all the resin in one go. That wouldn't be very healthy. Epoxy is poured at different times in 3 times. The epoxy has dried. Here is the tabletop. We need to thin the tree stumps and epoxy to 2 inches thick. For this, we get help from the CNC machine again. When the tabletop comes to the thickness we want, we will give the table an oval shape with the help of CNC machine. Our customer asked us to make the table oval first I change the head of the CNC machine. Then I will adjust the calibration of the machine and draw an oval shape on the table. If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. After the tabletop is thinned, there is a gap in the tree stumps. We fill those gaps with the epoxy material we prepared. Then we will move on to the sanding process. Our table is almost ready. In order for the table surface to look smooth and shiny, we will apply sanding to the surfaces of the table. When sanding, we first use coarse grit sandpaper. Then the grid numbers increase and we don't stop until we use the thinnest grid sandpaper. The purpose of using these sandpapers from coarse to fine is to make the surface smooth. We'll polish it later.
If you want to see more such content, you can support me by subscribing to my channel. Here, we make the grains of the wood appear more clearly with wood oil. In addition, applying wood oil provides protection on the table surface. Our mail worker makes the leg style the customer wants. You can also see the chassis we mounted under the table. With this metal frame, the table legs are easily connected and this frame provides support to the table. Here is the perfect transformation of trees that have completed their task in nature after combining with epoxy. I wish my customer to eat on the table with pleasure for years. If you want to see more such videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.